Hello and welcome back. In this section we're going to be learning about selection tools. We've been learning about layers and now that you know how to use layers we'll take it to the next level by learning how to select specific parts of your image and then do things with them. Whether it's creating a new layer from them or changing the color or the darkness or whatever. And we're going to just learn this through examples. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the tools we'll be looking at and then we'll dive right in. The selection tools we'll be talking about are all found right up here. Okay, the first section is the shape tools. So you have a rectangular marquee and an elliptical marquee. And then these two you'll probably never use. They just select like one row of pixels, which is almost never enough. But as they sound, the elliptical marquee tool will select a circle or an oval. The rectangular marquee tool will select a square or a rectangle. And these can be useful if you have a specific shape like a square or a circle and it's a very sharp edge and you need to select it. Generally speaking, I don't use these very often, but they're here and you can use them. For instance, if you wanted to say select this whole image, I'll shrink it down a little bit to make it easier. I'm going to hit Z for zoom and then I'm going to hit Alt option on your Mac and click a couple of times to zoom out. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to select on this tool. And you'll notice when I hover over it, the marquee tool is M. So I'll hit the M and now I'm selected on it. So let's say I wanted to select this whole image. I would just left click outside of the image and start to drag. And you'll notice in this case it pops to, it has these little snap guides and it snaps to the edges, which makes it really easy. And then I just drag until it snaps to this end. Basically you just pull outside of the corner. And then you can see it has the little marching ants, which are those little dotted lines going all the way around my selection. And I just release the mouse and I've now selected that. But it's just not the easiest way. So you, now you know how to use that, but again, you're not going to use it very often. So we'll look at some tools that you're going to probably use a lot more. Now if I'm selected in something and I want to use a different tool or get out of that selection, I can just hit Control or Command on your Mac and D. And that's deselecting your selection. You can also go up to the Select menu here and you'll notice you can hit Deselect or reselect, which is a really nice one. So if I wanted to get that back, I can hit reselect and I'll select it again. And then you can also select the inverse, which in this case I don't have, I have the whole thing selected, so there is no inverse to everything. But I'll show you how to use that later. And then there's select all. And notice that that's control A. That's really important to know, and I'll show you why. Let's deselect this real quick. If I want to select this whole thing, I just hit Control A. Bam! Selects the whole image. And that can be really useful when you need to do an edit to the entire image. Okay, again, I'm going to hit Control D to deselect that, and we'll keep moving on. One little tool tip is that you can either left click and hold, and then hover over whichever one you want to use, and then release the mouse, or you can right click and it'll bring up the menu and then you hover over whichever one you want to use and you left click the mouse or even better you can hit your shortcut keys so again the marquee tool is the M so if I hit M well let me hit the V key I'll move to my move tool watch up here now I want to go to my marquee tool I hit the M that selects it the problem you might say is what if you want to select the rectangular marquee tool not the elliptical marquee tool. Well you can hold shift and M and it will toggle through the marquee tools. Notice it's not bringing up those other tools because they just aren't used. But you can hit shift and toggle back and forth. Okay. The same goes for the lasso tools. If I right click here you'll see it gives me three different versions of the lasso tool. We have the regular lasso tool, we have the polygonal lasso tool, which does straight lines, and we have the magnetic lasso tool, which basically kind of snaps to whatever line it can find that it thinks you might be trying to follow. And I'll show you how these all work. 
But again, I want to show you how to use the shortcuts. So I'm going to go off of this and I'm going to hit V to go back to my move tool. And I'm going to hit Shift and L. First I'll get my polygonal lasso tool. If I hit it again, I'll get the magnetic lasso tool. And you can see a little magnet icon on top of the lasso there. And then if I hit it again, I'll get my regular lasso tool, which is just a regular lasso. And I'll show you how these work real quickly. While I'm in the lasso tool, you basically just draw with it. And let's go ahead and do Command-0 to get this full size. And you just click to start it, and then you hold it, and you drag, and you just draw with it. And you can see that this would require a ton of hand-eye coordination and precision to outline a mountain like this accurately. But if you're up for that, please be my guest. But I'll show you either easier ways. And this tool can be really incredible, though, for doing a little bit of touch-up on your selections, and I'll show you that later, too. But to close this loop, to close the selection, you just draw back around to the beginning. And when you get to the beginning, you simply connect and release, and whatever you've drawn around is selected. Okay? Let's go ahead and Control D to get rid of that. And let's go ahead and hit Shift and L and select a different lasso tool. Here, I'll put this up in the sky so you can see it better. We'll hit Shift and L. And now we're in the polygonal lasso tool. And we'll use this one in a different example, but basically you just click and move the tool. And notice as I move, it's just going to keep a straight line in any direction. So I can basically select a square. I click again, move, click again, move, click again, and move. And notice on this one, I have the little circle right next to the tool. You have to see that circle in order to complete your selection. If I'm down here and I click, it's not going to complete my selection. I have to go hover over the beginning of the selection and see that little circle in order to select it. So I do that and I click, and again I have my selection. Now one note about this, let's go Control D. If you are cruising along and you're making selections and you decide, oh, I didn't want that one, then you can just hit the Delete key or the Backspace and it will get rid of your last click. Okay, if I do that four times, one, two, three, four, then I'm just gonna start back at the beginning. Okay, so you're not stuck with it. You can always get back to it, but you just click, 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 get your little circle, click, and you've selected it. For me to show you how the inverse selection works. So right now we have this polygon selected here in the middle of our picture. We can go to the select menu and say inverse, and notice it added some marching ants, those dotted lines, around the outside of the image. Well now, instead of having this little piece of the image selected, this is the only part that's not selected. Everything else is selected. Okay, and that can be very useful if you want to select, say, this whole image, but not one of these little hikers. Then you can just select the hiker and then click inverse and it will select everything else. Okay? Again, let's Control D or Command D to get rid of that selection. And we're going to stop the video there. In the next video, we'll continue talking about the lasso tools, and then we'll dive into the crown jewel of the selection tools, which is the quick selection tool.